Hello there, this is Good Guy Palps, and this is another episode of the Glorious British Empire Expanding. And we are playing with mods, obviously, um, with historical speed and giant earth. We have you know, a ton of sieves in the game, so it's going pretty well. It's a lot of fun. We're going to go ahead and go next turn. Have a couple units need orders, looks like. Clean this quadrine. Finally got the settler out here. We conquered the city. And to find a place to use that settler and for now we'll get him going west and a lot of people still hate us which makes sense we are the British crown mm. thank you Nubia another ally Um, I actually would prefer wine from you. Thank you, Mongolia. Another good ally. I wonder how they're doing over there. They seem to be doing okay. It'd be a fun Civ to, to play in this mode. There's, I mean, almost every Civ would be fun to play in this mode. But All right, so we are starting to flip Egypt a little bit again. Probably because they don't have a governor here. If we can take the city, which Blast, is the plan. Build, battle. We can. So one of England's big bonuses is military engineers. Um, let's see. Oh, we have to go to ours. Um, we get two more resources and iron and coal mines. Military, 100% production towards military engineers. And they provide plus two charges. So we want to use them to complete as many things as possible. Dams, aqueducts, and stuff. Um, we're going to continue to produce these dams, but in the future we're going to want to build some, and building some, um, some more of these military districts would be a good idea, especially on our borders, maybe even somewhere in here in Africa. But with this online, we definitely probably want to queue up the armory, now that we've unlocked that, and we can get some military engineers after that. Um... And let's see where okay, we have two friendships expired. Genghis Khan. We are kind of being the uh, the bad guys in the world, that's for sure. Um. So we have Niter in a few places. Looks so like we have Niter on this campus, which is good. So we're getting it for free. We have Niter here there and on this holy site so we definitely need a builder um with two improvements left let's see let's go over there and we can go ahead and build this lumber mill and then send him back Okay, so they say emergency. They have captured Geneva. We must restore its independence. Okay, that's actually an interesting idea. If we had our troops free, I would definitely go for it because we would get a bonus against them, but we're not really quite ready for a war against Germany. They don't have a very strong military, but all of our armies are over here. We would need to bring our siege equipment over to take Geneva. So I think I'm going to not take that military emergency yet. I'm going to continue to work on Harlem's defenses. We're close to defeating this part, and we need this catapult to heal up faster. Sad thing is, once we defeat these defenses, we're going to have to heal. Assuming we can even keep this catapult alive. Okay, now what to work on for science. We got the niter we need, or we're about to, so now we want frigates. Bombards would be really, really good if we decide to go to war with Germany. However, we'd really like to get around the world and settle. So going towards cartography would be really good. I 
I think it's time to get castles and see what's over here. Yeah, so we definitely need to get castles up. We completed the uh, workshop here. Let's go ahead and get the Watt online. Hmm, what to do with this builder? Let's definitely improve that. We have our own, oh, we just traded for wine, that's funny. Dang, all right, now we wanna focus on growth, I think, for Birmingham, so somewhere that has food. If we had a foreign trader, it still would be better, just because we get more um, other things out of it. Egypt would be pretty ideal. We're gonna get two food, some production, some gold, some science. Treating with it. Egypt's capital. And just parking some of our ships over here. As soon as we can go across the ocean, they'll be exploring everything. Um, actually, a scout here would be a pretty good idea if we wanted to also explore the Americas. Something a little bit faster than this archer unit. Only 130 gold. I think that's worth it. I'm going to take that scout and send them immediately to like right there. Just have them go around the Americas and look for anything we can settle. Most... <coughs> Excuse me. Most likely it's going to be all filled up. But if we're lucky, there'll be some nooks and crannies we can settle without too much, too many loyalty issues. Uh, sell pearls for six gold total, not per turn. Yeah, no, not worth it. No, I'm getting 233 per turn. Refuse. We also are starting to flip Geneva. That's really, really good. Oh uh, yeah, we can go ahead and do that. I'm gonna vote down the state emergency just because um, the target gets plus 20 loyalty in the city and I don't want them to have that. We want them to continue to lose loyalty and we can flip the city, hopefully. Uh, passed. Most people voted for it. Man, they're gonna be at war with a ton of people. The Navy has both a tradition and a future. Okay, so now I think this is a really powerful card to get us a lot of money. Maybe even better than the conscription card. I think. That way I can keep the housing in there for growth. didn't quite I think it, it didn't quite come out to even if I had kept both those in that means we probably would be having a lot more gold though so that should turn around though the plus the, them losing that oh I didn't need to put them in the water that's fine completed campus research grants we'll just continue to do that I think Could send aid if we wanted to. Um, sending gifts of gold. It doesn't say what you'll. Oh, yeah, here it does. Okay, two diplomatic victory points, 100 diplomatic favor. So, the question is do we want to work on that or something like getting great person points? We're a great scientist. We might spend our faith to get this great scientist just because he, it would be really valuable to get this plus two science in all our universities. It would be really, really good. We might spend all our faith on it. Next turn. Or right, a couple turns. And with that in mind, maybe it's a good idea to send aid. I don't think we're going to be able to get first unless we really tried to work at it and... 
I don't see a huge benefit from that. I'd like some of our frontier cities to be able to build more of these. We're getting this dam. And I think it's worth completing. And then before we complete this, we'll get the uh, barracks online and the armory after that. So we can get a, more military engineers to boost things like the aqueducts and dams. It's even tempting since to to um, immediately go to that, but if we get a flood, this gets all pillaged, and I'd rather just finish the dam first. All right, so we are losing loyalty in Birmingham. It's growing, though, and it's not losing very much, so I'm not super worried about it yet. This looks like it should defeat the defenses. And we've defeated that, so we can now move uh, this catapult there once it's healed up a little bit. And let's take Volley here. If, oh, if he's promoted, that's awesome. We'll just have to promote him next turn. Lots of people are going to war with Germany. Something we might actually join if we can take the city fast enough. Okay. We have fallen behind with culture pretty drastically. A monarchy would be really nice. I think we're going to go for that first. And then probably maybe feudalism, maybe mercenaries. All of these are really good. We can't, we really want all of them. But I think upgrading our government to a monarchy. We are British. We need the crown. We have two more envoys. We are going to be getting shipyards eventually. We could use some in Muscat. In fact, where is... She is in Lisbon. And that would bring Lisbon up to six, which is nice. Two faith in every temple building isn't bad. We have a lot of temples. And getting extra faith will use it, I'm sure, um, later for military. So I think I'm going to do that for now. The other alternative would be to do something like this. Go for Akkad or Muscat. Um, but we don't have commercial hub buildings, so we, but getting the gold and lighthouses would be good. For now, I'm going to take the Arm, uh, Armog, we can lock them in a little more solid, and as it being the suzerain of them, and getting the uh, extra faith as a bonus. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, who else do we need to move? This settler... Continue to explore the north here. There is some cool things here. It'd be great if we could do maybe a sea invasion of America eventually as well. I, mean, I feel like for historical purposes, we need to kind of like get some colonies in America, either whether that's settling or conquering, you know, who knows. Also with India, but probably not going to happen. All right, so we need to remove the improvement here so we can get a mine for Niter. Same thing there, but that'll happen next turn. We have some beautiful, beautiful cities being done, though. Huh. Okay, Samaria, you literally, I think, just have a settler somewhere. And with the way all these borders are, it's much more realistic, but it's also much more hectic. It's just, I, I love this mode. It's long, but it's, it's more fun. All right, so we met the Aztecs. I wonder where they came from. This guy still can't move, of course. We might just delete this guy. It sucks because he has a uh, promotion. But he's costing us gold and it's a bug and we can't move him any direction. So... Go ahead and delete that warrior and in the meantime continue to bring the settler up. Let's go ahead and... 
continue to work on this city. Let's promote this catapult and then let's attack. Oh, actually, let's quickly heal. Do some damage there, do some damage there. We're doing good. We just have to continue to wear down the city and the Netherlands will fall. More era score. Wait, what did that say? Oh, gotcha. We completed the Watt. Oh, that gives us era score to build these Watts. I didn't even think about that because it gives science as a base yield. Wow, that's really cool. So Paris completed this industrial zone here. We're going to build this industrial zone with London, that's right. At least that's the goal. This city, you know, I think it'd be worth getting another encampment. Um, if we don't need any industrial... Actually, an entertainment complex is probably the best thing we could do. And getting it maybe somewhat central here. Um... This tile's not being used, so let's put the entertainment complex right here. I think that is a really good thing to build over here. We are going to need more amenities with the cities we have. Um, and it will also boost this uh, adjacency bonus for this eventual industrial zone. Okay, we have built something there. Oh, we're building the campus, okay. So let's get the mine right here. And let's remove this improvement. Let's improve the niter, boosting rifling, and getting us more niter per turn, which is going to be very important for our navy once we can get frigates. We're going to need builders here. So let's now take this builder and send him this direction. score now we will avoid a dark age which is really good and hopefully hopefully we can get a golden age that would be really splendid and as much as i would like to actually improve the fish i think improving these tiles is even better so with his one imp one build charge that's in here we're gonna need another builder here and in fact it's worth it just to buy one oh that's, that's a lot of gold um, you know what, we're getting a new builder here. We'll just send that builder over there. We, we want to save the gold for upgrades, if possible. Um, do we have open borders with America? I think we do, so let's trade. Or let's, uh, we'll use it while we can and send this, uh, scout down. Not scout, archer. And it looks like if we compare America to the Cree, it's pretty even. So the Cree, man, that science 200 per turn. The Aztecs are even more. The Aztecs are probably in a really good spot. Very much not contested. I'm going to keep my niter until we're full of it. Yeah, we're not making peace as much as I'd like that gold per turn. Again, not giving anybody niter, so... We want to keep our niter for now. Completed some trade routes, which we need to restart. We will sell our horses, though, because we are full of horses. Oh, I thought they were going to give me gold. Nope. Okay, denounces me. That's fine. I wonder if our, when you complete an aid request, which... Thing it goes to well. They already gave 800 gold. That's nuts. All right, so let's continue to fire upon this city, as well as get experience for our things here. Let's uh, eliminate that. Let's send our swordsmen forward. Actually, I should have traded spots because they need to heal. We'll trade spots with this archer after. And let's get the mine here. And come out here to probably do 
to do a chop right there. Completed the dam. Let's go ahead and get the temple. Actually, let's get walls. Um, it's important to have all our war can happen at any point, so we really would like to have walls pretty much everywhere. Archers have to skip till next turn, so we can switch places with the swordsman, who hopefully is not shot this turn. Adopt a government with six inherent policy slots. This should have six slots, I think. Which would mean we want to actually hold off on castles. We want to get to the point where we can almost get castles. Um, maybe we should work on machinery for just a little bit. Um, we're going to need both anyways. And then we'll get the boost for castles as well. Right now we can finally bring this catapult forward as well. We improved the niter with one improvement left. I think a mine. Hmm. Probably a lumber mill here would be good. A chop and a lumber mill there would be fine. You know, let's send him down to help with Birmingham. Let's repeat the route there so we can continue to trade with Russia. Let's bring this guy into the water to sail down the coast. In fact, let's um, bring these guys together. registering my click for some reason and we'll just heal this guy up out here so we can see this and make sure we don't get any more barbarian encampments in annoying places and we'll go next turn we will complete the cathedral looks like the Aztecs have denounced us surprising they have a pretty weak military but really strong science if we you know they might be pretty isolated in Mexico and Central America region it might be really a good person to invade where we could kind of take the whole Central America and take all of their campuses which is which are obviously quite powerful because right now we kind of want to attack whoever's leading in science when we get our frigates Russia is kind of impossible though Greece would be good, but some of these other American places might be, or uh, these civs in the Americas. With that in mind, have we not met, okay, so the third best domination player we haven't met. That makes me think it's probably the Inca, and maybe they've defeated Brazil. They're also second in science. The Khmer are leading in science. They would also be another good city to go, or civ to go after. Completed the cathedral. We cannot get this until we have 13 population. So we could work on... Oh, that reminds me. Great scientist. Oh, we missed out on him. Okay. Needed to check like two turns ago. Or maybe last turn. Dang it. Being <sighs> great people is really hard in this mode. I should have been checking that every turn. <sighs> it would have been last turn. We would have had enough, and hopefully they hadn't got it. Man. With that in mind, I'm not going to really worry about sending aid. We could get the aqueduct if we wanted, but I don't. We already have tons of housing, so I don't think that's vital. We could instead get units. Could get another scout real fast. And yeah, we're pretty far away, it doesn't really help. We could get one more builder. We still have some more improvements to make in these areas, so we'll do that for now. Alright, now that we have done the damage, let's trade spots here. Move this catapult. Oh my gosh. It'd be nice to move them forward, but we can't. 
All right, we've defeated their defenses, so now it's just a matter of time until we can completely annihilate them and hope that whoever this is doesn't, oh, Russia doesn't take the city. Hmm. Continue to explore the Americas. And with this builder... Let's send them... South. Just gonna hold this settler here. I'm pretty much probably not gonna use them until we can build oceans anyways. So we can, cro build oceans, so we can cross oceans. <laughs> Ooh, they completed the, another wonder. Um, oh, I do want to trade with the Aztecs. So, get rid of your gold. I would like spices. And I'm willing to give you amber. Accept that deal. Okay, so... A formal war. Great. That's bad timing. I did not expect this. We don't have alliances yet, so the best way to combat them is going to be to convince someone like Germany to to fight them as well, and Russia. Russia is like the main person we want to go for. The good news is we have archers in most our cities. We're going to switch to getting an archer here, and we'll be able to upgrade them. Our archers, I mean, to. Uh, crossbowmen pretty quickly. This city, which would be the most vulnerable, is pretty protected by that fleet. I'll continue to heal that guy up for now. We'll have to watch out for keeping these guys in the water. We're going to want to get them on land as soon as possible. Alright, so let's go talk to Germany and see if they're at war with... Oh, wow, the world... Are they at war with Norway, though? Nope. Let's see if they will join our ongoing war. Ooh, take a lot. What if I gave you pearls, though? What about amber? What about diamonds? Okay, yeah, not gonna happen. They're, they're in too much trouble, so let's go to Russia. They're not at war with... Oh, they are at war with Norway. Okay, great. So we have pretty much everything we need. We just didn't want them to do more damage. Let's check their, their military strength is really weak, though. Russia's. They've been also probably pretty annoyed by Scythia. St. Petersburg is huge. Oh, just kidding. I didn't see the city. It's still pretty big. But hopefully they do some more damage. Where's Norway? They still have a massive army. We need to continue to fight that battle and win, but in the meantime, it's time to bring some troops up. To just combat a little bit here up to the the new front essentially and with that in mind let's do damage to this city have been defeated. Beautiful. Giving us five era score. And we have all of France and most of Spain. With Portugal as our ally. Egypt should lose that city much faster now and then we'd be able to hold it just fine. Which would be really, really cool. Now that we've defeated them though, because of Norway's war with us, we might be able to use this to do a long war and maybe take out Norway. But we need a significantly stronger fleet. We need we need a Renaissance fleet, right? They have the strength when it comes to Viking ships. We'll obviously keep the city. And having built the Watt in Paris, I would like some more troops, but it's not that beneficial. 
until we until we can get these crossbowmen. Swordsmen strength is 36. I'm gonna check what their uh, warrior monk is. Warrior monk is 35. So they're similar to swordsmen. Getting some more swordsmen up there isn't necessarily a bad idea. So we could work on that instead, or we could actually, now that, we, oh no, we don't have a, a military encampment here. That's uh, Amsterdam. Because so in Amsterdam, we're going to want to get military engineers. Hmm. I'm not sure, but I think getting just some troops, even if they die quickly, it's not that big of a deal. We just want to kind of get some troops up here to mess with them and prevent too much plundering and stuff. In this city, we want to work on repairs. And then a granary. Actually, no, repair the library. Then get a granary. And then get ancient walls, I think. Which is a lot. Um, with that in mind, we also want to start moving our troops just this direction in general. Um, except for we also want to... Oh wow, major defeat. Attacking them. Completed the campus, so let's get a library in there. Let's move our archers to the coast. Let's shoot their ship. Oh, catapults do significantly more damage than obviously these archers and stuff do. Maybe we should work on a catapult rather than an archer. Constant war, right? Do we not have open borders? Now we do. Continue to explore on uh, that mode. Okay, we go next turn. Okay, they want niter. Yeah, uh, not going to happen. Huh? huh? Again. We're not friends. You can't have my niter. Okay, an unvulnerable. Okay, captured by Norway. That's fine. They captured our settler, and that's not fine. That is that's brutal. I forgot to check that settler. Okay, after the Royal Navy Dockyard, we are going to need to get walls in the city. It's kind of a big, it's in a very vital position. It's going to need some defenses. Try and get the kill. All right, this builder, I would send this direction, but he'd probably get captured now that I think about it, so... In the meantime, I'll kind of just have to wait, I guess. We really don't want to lose this settler, so we have to be a little bit wary. Let's put them up there. I'm 
I'm just really mad we lost this from Settler. Really angry about it. But I'm not sure we can do much other than get revenge. This is really their last chance to do anything to us until we get to their renaissance era. We'll, we'll pretty much crush them. I'm hoping they keep that settler there. Because then we can hopefully defeat this massive fleet. And then, well, defeat them. Let's move this. That's fine, Shaka. They pillaged that. How rude. Mount St. Michael, we have... Promotion. Complete the entertainment center. Let's build the uh, arena. Speaking of the arena, does it already provide bonuses? No, not to the neighboring cities, but the, the next buildings will. Go ahead and take that kill. Can't move after attacking, but defending this area is pretty good. And I'm gonna move this, um, catapult this direction. I'm gonna keep the swordsman here for now. I would probably prefer to put them into the city first, but that's fine. They have more troops coming. Hmm. Should be able to go next turn now. So we see the Cahokia Mounds, which means Cahokia is a city state in the game. Who we'd like to meet. Pericles to denounce Tomris. Uh, they are probably having a fun conflict. Alright, let's hit these guys while they're in the water. Killing them. You do more damage to land units when they're in water. I'm not sure what the reasoning is behind that, but maybe it's because they're more vulnerable or something. On their boats. Completed the armory. Now, we could start getting some military engineers, I think. We should have unlocked them. Why am I not? See, there it is. We can get them pretty quickly, and that would boost things like dams and aqueducts. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, and just get a couple down. Or a couple, uh, oh, they get plus two um, build charges. Completed swordsman. Let's work on um, industrial zone logistics. I don't really want to get any more troops yet. Not until we're just getting crossbowmen right away. I would like to build things in Amsterdam. We have such a great population. Um, but I think getting some military engineers is pretty valuable. Because we can use it to boost the aqueducts over here. Let's go ahead and get maybe two, and then after that, we'll pivot back to working on districts. With that in mind, let's work on the walk, on the temple. We get another envoy. No one's there, suzerain, but we don't really get a huge bonus from them, other than extra culture, which isn't bad. I think it's time to work with Muscat, it would be the most beneficial. Send a trade route. Construct a theater square. I 
obviously hit their Viking longships. Now we could work on build a farm or a mine. I think the farm's more beneficial here than it is here. Get a nice shot on him. I'm hoping maybe we can um, protect this builder and get him over there. With our few ships we have. I kind of want to prioritize going to the coast, the opposite coast. And they're moving the settler, it looks like, and they can go into the ocean already. Whoa. There's no way they have the tech to do that. I wonder if they can just do that automatically. They must be able to. Unfortunately, settling here is probably just out of the question, but that's okay. Next turn, we'll get that builder out of that city. Charger's not doing much, just chilling in Paris. Let's put him up on the coastline where he can do a little bit more. Now we have our army still down here, mostly because of this fleet. We want to make sure we can hold what we have. And if we weren't at war with Norway, I'd probably be bringing them up to attack Germany, but that just probably isn't going to happen for a while. Though I will continue to bring some troops up. They, no, don't go into the water. Okay, they want... Okay, they will give us actual gold for for multiple turns, but it's not that beneficial. <sighs> we don't like each other, so I'm going to keep my niter. I don't want other people to have niter. Although, if some people do, like the weaker ones, maybe they can um, do some war over there and do some damage to each other. I'd want to, kind of like the CIA, uh, give weapons to the weaker... Um, to fight the stronger in areas we don't like the stronger. Uh, and obviously, I'm happy to sell horses. So we are missing a trade route. It says we only have seven of eight. Maybe we can send one. Okay, so they have a catapult here. I don't like that. Our yeah, archer's going to do quite a bit of damage to them. We'll bring this archer over as well, just to make sure we get them eliminated. Having completed the catapult, uh, we'll just work on the ascend date again. of a blockade here. Alright, so this is the traitor that needs to be used. Uh, if I send him over... Oh, we, no, we have Lisbon, so we can't be pillaged as long as it's over the water. It's somewhat risky, but it's pretty valuable. I 
can defend this city. And I'm hoping they bring the builder. They kind of have to bring it this way, I think. If they're trying to get it back towards their area, which I don't really know why they would, but the AI is pretty stupid sometimes, so. Just get them into a protected space. Do some significant damage to their long ship. And continue to go. We accept the delegation, but we're not ready to declare ourselves as friends. Which they aren't anymore anyways. Nope, I don't want to give any Niter to Greece. They're too powerful. I bet there's a lot of Sis that just don't have it in their kingdom. They want dyes and diamonds, but they're not really willing to give us much, so no, but I would like gypsum and mercury. I can give you wine. But yeah, more amenities the better, so we're happy with that. Refused demand. Of course, I mean, come on. We're definitely going to take this promotion. Get the builder in that this direction. And we can continue to damage those ships. Their army has gotten significantly smaller. Okay, so that guy's been defeated. We can send those archers back. Keep that guy on alert. And that guy's dead, so we're all good. Completed the cathedral here. We can't build another... Yeah, we have to get 10 population. We have plenty of housing. We need to focus on food if we're not already. And with that in mind, let's work. Let's maybe get something like a quadream that we'd be able to level up later. Um, and maybe even find the settler. Completed the barracks. Let's get the armory, I think. Here, so we can get military engineers, more of them if we want, as well as store more resources. Okay, so they have upgraded the Viking longship. We should be able to heal up the galley. And this city should be relatively safe, so we'll just say next turn for him. Put the swordsman on defense. And then continue to explore here. Probably bring the scout more central while we bring these guys down the coast. This is our second war with Norway. Both times them attacking us, we are innocent. The innocent British crown, all we did was conquer France and half of Spain. That's all. They pillaged a camp in Birmingham. Our truffles are so rude. All right, nice, they brought some people in range. eliminated two ships. And we have a military engineer who we're going to send where we're building going to build our next aqueduct which is going to be here and here. Uh, 
uh, with that triple food bonus, probably build this one first. Can promote him next turn. We completed the builder. We're gonna have repairs to make, so. I don't see anything pillaged here in England. Twelve turns till they get this, huh? Just let Plymouth take it now, and then let's get that builder over there to improve it. And yeah, let's get another builder for now. I think that's fine. The Quadrium is fine here. Actually, yeah, we still can't get the Royal Navy Dockyard. We need more pop. We're 20 turns away from that. Actually, let's work on a campus research grant so we can generate more science. We'll probably need 13 more turns until we get the uh, build another district. And we'll probably either get a theater square. Oh, actually, a Royal Navy Docker would be pretty good. We'll see. We'll see when we get there. Actually, let's get a builder here because we can use. You can send this builder south pretty much immediately. Yeah, let's repeat that route. There's the American capital. Hopefully we can start trading with it soon. 